Hello and welcome to Freeride. We're at the ski intro with Solomon. Um, today we're going to look at the new Freeride series and uh, tell me more about that. Well, we have some news, uh, especially on... Uh, well, we have three parts. We have the boots, a brand new boot. We have a brand new ski, a wide uh, powder ski. And we also have uh, our... Uh, well, our well-known shift binding that's got a really great update. Yep. So it's uh, actually the second version now, so the shift 2. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to look at and we can start with the boots, which is a 98mm, uh, so a narrow last uh, hybrid boot. Um, really, really, um, we built it from our um, um, S-Pro Alpha series boot, which has been a really success for us, 98mm. Um, but we put the boa on it, um, so yeah, rather rather light boot boot for for yeah for for what what it what it can handle. Mm -hmm. um, but what we also did, we didn't just put the boa on. We put this what we call exo exo strap that we actually attach in the pivot point um, mm -hmm. on the inside of the boot, which really wraps the foot, but also brings the foot back, which will give us a great foothold. Uh, when we're skiing. Um, also a really yeah, nice robust um, walk mode which we really reworked on this boot. Uh, so it, it has this wide, uh, wide buckle that you can open uh, but what it also does if we look inside of the boot I don't know if you can see on the camera but we do have a wedge in here which really makes the boot uh, the, the walk mode work really good when we go forward so so we actually have a really great range of motion even forward but also backwards of course um, so 130 flex uh, for the uh, for the guys and 115 for, for the women so for the guys and girls that really like to charge and uh, yeah have a great fit but also a really great performance both going up and going down the hill. Super cool uh, color palette, uh, and I see it looks like recycled plastic. Yeah. Is that all right? Uh, it's something that we're at Salmon are working a lot with uh, in our products when we're developing them. Um, the way that we take care of um, uh, materials that get left over. So yeah, like you see on the on the boots, for example, it's recycled material that actually is scrap that we get from from our factory that we can pick up from the floor and uh, actually reuse. We do the same thing on uh, on the skis. That's uh, why you you have the vis visual element on the sidewalls, uh, which is actually uh, plastic scraps yeah. that we reuse, um, recycle and reuse in our products. Yeah. And it looks really good. good. Looks really it good. Looks cool. Yeah. So this is the new ski. Correct. So this is our new powder, uh, yeah, pure powder ski. So 116 under the foot, quite, quite a, quite aggressive and a lot of uh, rocker on it. So, yeah, I mean, of course you, yeah, you probably choose it in a in a longer length that you're than you're maybe used to. So this is in 192. Um, still like built like our QSD skis. We of course a full full wood core but we also put uh, a metal under the foot um, and then we also use the what we call a double sidewall so it's a it's a sandwich construction we have the sidewalls but we put a reinforcement under the foot uh, which gives it that extra power uh, when you're skiing but like a stable poppy powder slayer I would say is it a light ski or is it more the heavier side or is it? Uh, oh, it's somewhere in between. I mean, of course, the, the purpose of it is to have a pure powder ski. It, we're not aiming for a super light ski, but it should be easy to, to do those shorter tours, which you might do with the, the hybrid boot that we looked at and also then with the, with the shift binding. So that can take us into the, to the new shift binding. I mean, the shift is a binding we've had for for many years now, I had a really great success with. And uh, now it's the, the version two, so shift two. Uh, we made it a little bit more beefy, so the wings are reinforced and uh, yeah, a little bit bigger to, to be able to handle more pressure. Um, we also readjusted the ADF plate. So what we have now is uh, like a metal plate that is actually sliding 
rather than being in, in steps that we had before. So it's now sliding upwards. Um, and uh, yeah, so we that made us um, move the screw. So it's actually in an angle from, from, from the back, okay. which then instead of taking it step by step, it just slides uh, yeah, w without the, the steps, which, which makes it uh, more robust and more reliable. Is it the same DIN as last? Yes, we have two versions, 13 and uh, 10. So two, two versions. Uh, but we also re uh, reworked the, the heel part or the, the mechanism that locks the, the ski brake. Yeah. It's also more, more beefy, more robust. So we really, really put more emphasis on making it even better um, when it comes to the, the ski ability. Yeah, perfect. So all these products, which target audience is it for? Is it for like and the beginner or is it for the like intermediates or no, I mean, is it for everyone? These are these are definitely I would say for I mean the yeah the, the better skier, the the, the the core community. But of course, if you look at the shift binding, it has a super wide audience. Yeah. Uh, you can put it on uh, a lot of different skis. So the shift binding you can still use even if you're intermediate or, or yeah, a pro basically uh, the skis of course uh, target is the yeah the, the guys and girls that really want a, a tough uh, robust uh, powder ski to, to really high, yeah high speed and lots of snow I would say and with the shift boot yeah we have it in different flexes so it depends a little bit on on, uh, on your capability there we have it from like on the purple ones for the for the really like the, the ones that are really, really good. And then we also have it in a little bit, uh, yeah, lighter flexes for, for um, the ones that doesn't ski as much. Super, super nice to see your new products. Yeah. And uh, I will uh, be stoked to try them. And uh, I want to just say, thank you for this video, subscribe to Freeride, and we'll see you in the next video.